I grew up in the same small town from first grade until I graduated. At the end of those 12 years, I went to college like most of my friends. Suddenly, I was in the real world where people couldn't believe what I claimed my disability would let me do, if they even gave me the chance to prove myself. One day, that and all of college life hit me in the form of voices telling me I had made a mistake. I should not be there. Now, I could walk much more and better in those days, and one day I walked long and far. I found myself in a quiet parking lot on a hill with a cement wall just high enough to sit on. I sat down, and just as I did, an autumn leaf landed on the wall right beside me. That moment changed me. It was the first time I felt the vast churning and spinning and infinite series of coincidences that put me there at the exact moment the leaf landed right there beside me. It answered a question I didn't know I was asking. Why, yes, you are right where you need to be. It is always so. You can never be in the wrong place. After that moment, nothing got easier. In fact, before the end of that first semester, I broke my collarbone. That moment with the leaf carried me through all of that and more. Many years later, on a rainy day in Olympia, Washington, I left family court after finalizing the divorce that ended my 15-year marriage. I drove to one of the many lakes in the area. The rain had kept everyone away, and I walked into the cold water alone. Once again, I felt I made a mistake by trying to fit myself into this world. I just don't belong here. The lake I was in became beautiful. Rain started to fall, sizzling around me, and the drops would capture the light for just a millisecond before joining the lake, except for one. Far out, far out in the water, a globe of light stayed on the surface. I got closer to find a large droplet of water held aloft by a leaf, hmm, bent just so like a tiny canoe, it was beautiful in its random stability. I was again in the right place to witness such a marvel. Now, in a new place again, well, here in Lander Riverton, I wonder aloud to you, can I, can any of us ever be in the wrong place? I suspect there are little miracles of coincidence all around me. And when I'm the most stressed by the world and life, Maybe that is when I most need to pause and go look for another leaf. Was it right? I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure. I'm saying, it was the right amount of time, too. <laughs> so, let's see. What else do you want to hear about? Have I? I have. Do you want to hear it anyway? Do you want to hear my funny version that I'm going to try so I can practice that? Yeah. All right. Because it worked so well when Alma was here the very mm. first night we tried things. <sighs> this one I have memorized. Well, it's a story. My body is weird, and one of the weird things is that I have a large butt. It sticks out, and it gets in the way. And, well, one day I was at Walmart, and I was trying to reach a gallon of milk, and I had to do this weird little twisty thing, and my butt jiggled the wrong way, and it knocked over a little kid. 
I came out of the I came out of the case to see what was wrong, and I spun around and I took out the rest of his family. My butt killed them all. <laughs> and now this was over in Riverton, uh, and uh, according to the ways of that town, uh, I became the boy's dad. And uh, <laughs> for uh, for maybe thirty uh, minutes or so, because here's the thing: this was all back in the day when your airbags were the back of your dad's arm. So, as uh, the boy's father, I drove him to our house, which was out in the country just a little bit, and uh, I was thinking of where he was going to stay and things like that, and all of a sudden a herd of deer ran in front of the car. Well, I put out my arm and tried to stop little Johnny from falling out. and. Uh, it didn't work at all. <laughs> he flew right through the window. And uh, he has been raised over these last years. This was maybe 20, 30, 50 years ago. Long time ago. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he got raised by those deer. And I hear little Johnny has made quite a name for himself <laughs> in the agriculture business. I think he's doing well. <laughs> You are by far one of my favorite storytellers. <laughs> <laughs>